Hello everyone out there and welcome to Gator Poon. Uh, today I wanted to take some time and address some of the questions and concerns that we get often from you guys. The biggest thing people want to know is why did we do the Kickstarter project? So I want to clear all that up for you guys. Uh, basically it was all me. It was Gator's fault, I'm not going to lie. Uh, when we started making these videos, we were literally just doing it to just fuck off. We were just fucking off. I mean, obviously, there's no effort put into them. We literally would just sit down and, by the way, my fucking air conditioner's out. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but whatever. We'll get that fixed later. Anyways, when we started Gator Poon, uh, it was just this guy sitting around work, and we do sales. Sales is a high-pressure job. It's easy to get down when you're being told no all day long, every and day. And... We like to sit there and riff on each other. We like to, you know, just sit there and talk about a bunch of bullshit. Just make up a bunch of shit. I don't know why. We just enjoy doing it. And I thought, hell, how about when we do that, I just set up a camera over here. It'd be funny. We'll film it, put it on YouTube, and, you know, see what happens. So we're putting it on YouTube. Nobody watched anything. And we never thought anybody would watch it. But I did have a buddy tell me all about this Kickstarter stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess, I mean, I guess I could do something like that, throw something out there. He told me that a couple movies, Veronica Mars or something, were able to get uh, produced out of it. Um, and I was thinking, you know, if there are people out there that like what we do, and I'm like, I don't know if there are, but if there are people out there who like what we're doing, just sitting here and listening to us talk, uh, maybe they'll give us money, maybe they'll want more of it and sponsor us. I mean, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I never really looked at it in the way iDubs kind of put it, and a lot of you in the comments have put it with the whole, that sounds kind of greedy, sounds like we're not putting any work in and expecting to get something. I mean, honestly, we never really expect anything. So that's why it was completely, uh, you know, dry bones, as he put it. It was dry bones. Well, I didn't put any effort into it. It took me five minutes to throw the thing together. And then, honestly, we kind of stopped filming. We stopped filming. We stopped putting anything out there. Uh, we didn't even pay attention to the Kickstarter thing at all. And then out of nowhere, one day, I go into work, and I just go to YouTube, and I check it out, and I got a notification from one of you out there, I can't remember who, saying, check this video out. This guy, iDubs TV, just made this video about you. And I'm like, what? Who made a video about us? We're nothing. We have less than 100 views on all of our videos put together. Why is, this, why is there a video about us? This is insane. And we click it. And I get, I get the Gator Poon, the whole group around it, and the moment it comes on, we're just smiling ear to ear. We loved every second of it. It was hilarious. And we deserved it. We deserved it. We had it coming. We were putting no effort into it. I, I don't know. I don't know what we were thinking, but it was funny. Oh, another thing. Uh, people think the whole Gator Poon busted uh, where HBIC uh, hijacks our channel is fake. And as much as I would love to say it, is fake and we planned that I had nothing to do with it I had gone home from work to be with my family and to mow my yard and I'm sitting there and like a couple hours go by and I pull up my phone I'm looking at YouTube and I look and I see this video of this weird guy with a hat on my page I'm like what is this and I realize it's my boss and he actually is the boss he is the HBIC head bitch in charge as iDubs puts it and uh, I watch it and there's one thing I noticed that no one else has pointed out, but pay attention. In the very beginning, you can hear Poon's voice say, go. It's very clearly that he said, go. And I'm sitting here thinking, you son of a bitch. I'm like, you just stabbed me in the back. What's up with this? You just you hijacked my channel. You put this video out there. Didn't even let me edit out where they fucked up and you can hear him say, go. Yeah, just so you know, Gator Poon busted, 100% legit. I had nothing to do with it. Poon betrayed me. It's taken time, but I've gotten over it. Another thing we get, I get a lot of this with our first response video. Uh, people think we're whining, crying, whatever it is. And of course we are, yeah. I, I mean, technically that is what we're doing. But it was more of a sarcasm thing. And again, that was my idea. I said, okay, we got to do a response video. We just have to. And, uh, you know, at first I was kind of thinking maybe I'll do, a, you know, an impersonation of iDubs, which I end up doing in the YouTube garbage video that we do. But... I don't know, something, I, I felt like we should stay true to what we'd done before just that one last time. Just that one last time, because everything he made fun of us, everything in his video is us doing that. To come back at him with some edited, nice, planned video, it's almost like a slap in the face to the guy who just got us on the map, who just got us 
14,000 views, 300 subs, whatever it may be. Like, that's all because of him. No one was watching us. We know this. And to come back and do something completely different than what we'd done before after he just made that great video, I, I felt like it was unjust. So instead, we stayed true with what we were, <laughs> just made a bunch of shit off the top of our heads, told that guy to hop into it and make us look like idiots, and he did, fantastically. And uh, it set him up for an even better video, in my opinion. I love the Gator Poon funeral even more. The phone call that he plans out between Poon and him is just, it's hilarious. I love it. We all loved it. We all think it's hilarious. Keep doing what you're doing. I dubs. We think you're great. Be honest with you guys. Almost everything we do is sarcasm. Every bit of it. Every bit of it is sarcasm. Um, oh, also, second question I get all the time is, you guys think you're doing improv or the improv thing. That wasn't Gator. That was not Gator's idea. It was someone else's idea. I won't mention any names, H-B-I-C, but um, someone had the idea, hey, you got to tell everybody that what you're doing is improv and that you're making it up off the top of your heads. That's going to be what lets them know that you're funny and not just crazy. Like, you don't want people thinking that you scripted this. You want them to know that it's improv so they get that it's funny. Well, obviously that didn't work out. Which I get most of our viewers are about 12 or 13. I mean, I can tell that by your... <laughs> your messages you leave us, which are absolutely insane. I actually have some messages up here. Let's see. Oh, you find a good one. Uh, this is from someone named Dan. Dan, 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 Dan. I fucking threw up at this autism. Now my dick smells. Fuck you. One out of ten would not masturbate to again. I mean, we get this stuff on a daily basis. And this guy actually is commenting on like 20 videos, all kinds of crazy stuff, a bunch of horse shit. And, uh,. I'm like, why do you, watch, why you keep watching? Why do you keep watching, Dan? Huh? Why do you keep watching us? And he says, masturbate two again. That means you masturbated to us once. So thank you. Appreciate that. I just want to thank everyone out there that have been dedicated followers, that are giving us support, that leave nice comments every time we post a video, the few people giving us thumbs ups. Um, thanks to the hundreds and thousands of people giving us thumbs downs. That means you watched, and we appreciate it. Keep coming back and keep giving us thumbs down if you want to. We don't care uh, because traffic's traffic. Y'all just a bunch of characters. Now my dick smells!